everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be on the Fenty brow MVP I went ahead and picked this beauty up and I want to just show you guys exactly what it's looking like um, when you take the cap off and you see the pencil end and then you also take the other cap off and then you'll see the little brow brush I thought this was really cool the way that it looks different than any other brow brush normally you get a spoolie but here you get like a little hairbrush but for your brows now I like this idea, but I really don't know how effective it'll be in uh, getting my brows hair, brow hairs to do what they're supposed to do. So let's zoom in. Okay. So I'm liking the way that it's making my brow hairs go up into the perfect shape. However, I realize that this is taking me more time than I'm normally used to spending brushing my brows. I feel like a brow spoolie really gets in there really quickly, quickly and tames those hairs, whereas I'm having to do a little bit more finessing, um, a little bit more slowly. Now that my brow hairs have been brushed and combed into place, I'm gonna go ahead and start lining them to make them look more full and create that great brow shape that I'm used to achieving. Right off the bat, I can already tell that this brow pencil is going to make a great everyday natural looking brow. The formula isn't too creamy or too waxy to where it's gonna look unnatural or like someone, you know, drew your brows on with a permanent marker or something like that. Right here, I'm creating little hair-like strokes just to, you know, keep that natural brow theme going throughout the lining process. I did cut out a couple clips here um, about how many times it took me to go in with that brow pencil. Um, I don't know if it's the color payoff uh, that made me keep having to go back in with the pencil, but lining my brows took a little bit longer with this Fenty Brow MVP than it normally does with my MAC brow pencil in the shade Spiked. If I was going somewhere and I needed to be like season 10 beat ready and locked and loaded, I would probably go back to my Anastasia pomade or my MAC brow pencil as opposed to using this one. I think this is pretty much just good for an on the go brow utensil and something um, that's just good for like an everyday use. I always go in and clean up my brows using some concealer. Here I'm gonna use um, some matte concealer for my um, conceal and color correcting palette just to you know clean up the brow underneath there and give it some more definition this brow pencil actually retails for a pretty good price is twenty dollars across the board you can get it at sephora you can get it at fenty beauty online i went ahead and put some concealer all over my lid just to prep it and prime it for this here eyeshadow look using the jackie Ina palette I'm gonna zoom in really quick just so you can see the brows and the eyeshadow look together. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for my next YouTube video. Thanks guys.